I want to examine something here. This is the pose of the Kirtan warrior. Notice that, like in Manipur and Assam, the Vedanga dances or call dances of those areas, um, they always wear a chadar and they drape the chadar over the drum. And that's the mark of the true warrior that's earned the right to, to play the drum. So, the actual method is to have a bead bag with japa and drape that over the drum. And that is because the japa bead is the main training instrument for kirtan drumming. It, it tones the hands and it tones the singing voice, giving you the ability to to do sustained repetition kirtan. So, what am I talking about? I'm talking about my style of kirtan. You may have noticed it's a, in the corners is very soft and very quick, quickly repetitive. That's Japa style, rapid fire. And the point is to get as many names as possible out as fast. Because classical kirtan singing can take several minutes to even get one mantra or one name, and you know if, if it's Lila kirtan or something. So. Well, when we do Japa Kirtan with, with rapid fire drumming, it's um, the fastest purification for the atmosphere on the sound vibration frequency, which is what we're aiming for as musicians, obviously. Gore Premanandi. Oh, and by the way, we're listening to Parama Karuna. Sri Sri Gora Nityananda Doya by Lochandas Thakur, sung by expert Kirtanese from Chaitanya Gaudiya Math. <laughs> 